Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Hearthstone deck spotlight. This time we're taking a look at the Brawl Block Year of the Mammoth. This is the new Tavern Brawl. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, exactly what we did last week, where we're going to look at a bunch of different Brawl decks, uh, all of which I've taken from uh, from Hearthpone. So uh, please, if you're want more info on the deck you want the deck code that's all in the description so please uh jump over there if you do use a deck please give the deck a plus one leave a lovely thoughtful comment uh, i'd really appreciate that now what actually is this week's tavern brawl it is uh as you can see there brawl block year of the mammoth we have to construct decks using only cards from uh, the Year of the Mammoth, which is Ungoro, Knights of the Frozen Throne, and Kobolds and Catacombs, as it does list there. Uh, obviously a lot of really powerful archetypes, a lot of really powerful cards in all of those sets. That's kind of one of the things that a lot of people are most hype about uh, when the rotation does happen, that we are going to lose a lot of these powerful cards and we're going to get to see a whole bunch of new ones. Uh, so I expect to see a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of Death Knights, a lot of Gul'dans, uh, and things like that. A lot of Frostlich Jaina, I certainly expect to see that. Uh, but also maybe some aggressive cards, maybe some, uh, you know, some Vile Spine Slayer, of course, we're about to lose that boy. Uh, we've got a lot of the Silverhand Recruit Paladin stuff with uh, Vine Cleaver and Light Fuse Stegadon. So uh, plenty of stuff out there, and I'm really looking forward to see what everyone comes up with. So without further ado... Move on to the first deck. Okay, we are here with a Brawl deck for this Year of the Mammoth Brawl, brawl, brawl Block. Uh, and this deck comes to us from Croesus, CR01S1S. And this is a pretty interesting kind of uh, mid-rangey uh, Warlock deck. Uh, with uh, Prince Kelliseth, of course. We've got a whole bunch of minions in here. Um, not a spell inside, it seems. Uh, so we're getting a lot of value out of this Prince Keliseth. Uh, I can't say that I've uh, played too many decks that have both Diamol and Blood Reaver Gul'dan and, and Void Lord in it. So this will be a bit of a first. Uh, but this deck very uh, reminiscent of something like a Spiteful Warlock, which we have uh, we played in the past with Spiteful Summoner and Twisting Nether uh, as the uh, the eight eight mana spell. Uh, lots of minions in that deck. Uh, very kind of nombo with the Twisting Nether, but it turned out it was it was quite a fun and playful deck. Uh, interesting deck to play. Uh, but yeah, so let's jump into some games with this deck. Uh, hopefully be trying to hit our Kaliseth Mulligan pretty aggressively for it. Um, and just uh, kill our opponents with uh, just a slew of excellent, uh, excellent minions on board. You know, immediate impact minions, some kind of slow gain minions, and the power of our uh, Blood River Gul'dan at the top end, so let's jump in. Okay, here we are with the Croesus's Warlock here. I think we'll keep the Kobold Librarian, but really want to make sure that we can hit uh, Keloseth. Maybe we'll coin out this Vicious Fledgling. Maybe if, our if it's only uh, Year of the Mammoth cards, our opponent would have to have like the, um, the Spellstone. Or some early minions. I imagine a lot of these decks are going to be um, just poorer, poorer versions of uh, of some uh, existing archetypes or old archetypes. Like I wouldn't be surprised if this was a spiteful druid or something like that. Alright, seems like the perfect uh, opportunity to try and sneak a freebie in here. Get the flappy bird out there. Okay, I'm a little bit casual when it comes to Hearthstone. What is the Tavern Brawl play mode about? So, once every week, uh, they open up the Tavern, the Tavern Brawl, and it will be, uh, could be pretty much anything. It stays open for a limited amount of time, usually four or five days, I believe. Uh, but the whole idea of Tavern Brawl is it's usually some kind of fun and interesting modes to, uh, you know, freshen up play. Um, uh, this one in particular is a mode where we can only play cards from the Year of the Mammoth, which is uh, Knights of the Frozen Throne, uh, Kobolds and Catacombs, and Ungoro. 
Uh, but you, sometimes you get constructed ones like this, where you can, you know, build your own deck. Sometimes it's more of like a random one where you get given a deck, or maybe you choose a class and get given a deck from that class. And uh, I think Tavern Brawl is the is the bee's knees. I think Tavern Brawl is a fantastic way to kind of stay up to date. Um, or not stay up to date. It's to keep enjoying Hearthstone, I guess. I think a lot of people get they might feel that you know something's imbalanced, or they might feel like uh, hmm. Yeah, they might uh, have an issue with balance, or they might have an issue with, uh, you know, the metagame as it is or something, and uh, Tavern Brawl usually, you know, freshens things up. Lets you use cards that you might never have used as well, you know, especially sometimes you get co-op Tavern Brawls, uh, which really allow cards like, oh no, they're killing our Flappy Bird. But those co-op ones really allow some of the uh, worse uh, legendaries like Law Walker Cho to a shine. Oh, there's a Kelliseth. I think we'll just go for a month. Divine Shield, yes. I think we'll take Taunt here. I think pr protecting this uh, Dreadlord might actually be okay. But yeah, that's kind of the 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 story of Tavern Brawl. There have been some really, really fun ones in the past, and there are also some uh, occasionally not so fun ones. It looks like we're going to lose the, uh, the Dreadlord. But we're still okay here. We are, wall uh, of course, a Warlock. We've still got a lot of, uh, big, big drops in our deck. We'd love to hit a Bone Mare. Or a Lich King. Our opponent has not deployed any spells yet, though, so still could be on, uh, on... Um, some kind of spike through there. Punch. Blood will blow. Hmm. Definitely wish we took that, uh, that plus attack on the first one. Bone man. The bone man. Not the Bone Man. Johnny Boneman! So this Bone Man is going to prop up this Pterodax. We will have to, unfortunately, lose our uh, Devil's Ore to the Gastropod. That's okay. Uh, I think I will just take out this uh, Fledgling. Very risky that our opponent maybe has their own bone mare or something like that, or um, you know, if they do manage to deal with this, the it's a five drop. Ooh, warding dragon. It's a pretty good value. Another bone mare though. Um, I would say that that's probably lethal. Nice. I think we got lethal before. Very was it 8, 16? Yeah, we had, we had lethal. But this was super lethal. Which makes it uh, a little bit more special. Okay, back with uh, Croesus Warlock. I think we'll do the full mulligan here. I'm not really interested in keeping a Sanguine Reaver. Uh, more interested in hitting our Keliseth. Could be the, uh, the mirror. Oh, this is not a great draw either. Especially if our opponent gets out a bit earlier under our uh, Vicious Fledgling.
Hmm. Lord Kelliseth. Well, there he is. But late than never. Okay, our opponent's not on a Kelliseth style deck. Greatest use of our resources, but at the very least, if the Volga Homunculus trades in, then it puts it on one and it might set us up for an interesting uh, Despicable Dreadlord turn eventually. If they don't trade in, we might just go for. We could attack and then. Oh no, that's significantly better. Just one more. How long can this go on? How long can this go on? Anyone seen uh, Captain Marvel? Anyone got some takes on Captain Marvel? They're not negative. <laughs> Give me your takes, but only if they're positive. Okay. I think Fungal Mancer seems pretty good here. Question is, where is it going? So many possibilities. Still unsure about that one. Just not sure what our opponent is uh, gonna get us with this to fall. Yeah. Fair enough. Probably something we could have been playing around. It was fine. Probably the same level for me as early Marvel films and Ant Man. I enjoyed Ant Man. Go with the Librarian, see if we can draw something to maybe pair with this fledgling. Although, I mean, our opponent can't have Hellfire. That's actually pretty good. If our opponent can't uh, set something up here, we've got the Fungal Man. Even if they do have, like, say, a 6 mana taunt. I say we might be able to push through, but... We just miss it. Find out if they have the other, uh, the other file. They do. Yeah. Skull. What mess have you summoned me to? Skull. All right. This Doom Pact could be alright, once uh, our opponent drops Gul'dan. I've been seeing a lot of people saying that uh, the second Avengers film, or the second Infinity War film, is very, very long. Mm. I would wonder if those people saw the first Avengers, the first Infinity War film. 
Jeez. Been through some marathons lately between the, uh, that first, um, Infinity War film and the latest Star Wars. I wonder. Absolute marathons of, uh, of film. Corrupting mist. Hmm. If only we had our own cube. Oh, we definitely should have gone around though, right? To, uh... Get another... ...thing. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake there, but oh well. 3.2 hours, yeah. Is. I don't know, like if you want your film to be 3 hours, that's fine, just please put an intermission in it. And the fact that wrestling shows still have inter. like, 3 hour wrestling shows still have intermissions. I'm old now. Just let me let me leave to pee. Yeah, exactly. Conan is a uh, yes. little tanker, a little tank lord. I don't think we're going to uh, be winning this one. It would be remarkable. We probably need Gul'dan stat. Conan still has like the Rin, Rin circles lurking as well. It's okay though, we'll, we'll delete our own deck, thank you. Would be good to get a taunt back when we Gul'dan. Though for our opponent Gul'dans, we are two hits away from dying, so hopefully with our smaller deck, we are more likely to hit our own Gul'dan. Me. 
Ooh, Despicable Dreadlord. Good rips. Interesting, they went. So I want to play the second one to clear off a bunch of these uh, queenies. Great heads up play from our opponent here. Totally forgot about Zola. Death grip. No! Don't take my Void Lord! Okay. Fine, it's more likely to draw Gul'dan. That's not Gul'dan. Put us to one. Hmm. If we attacked in. Although, is that... I guess that's just... Would die anyway. When this gets traded into... Hmm. Tough math. Opponents making us think for this tavern brawl. How dare they? Please don't delete my deck, so... Come on. Come on, opponent. Come on. Come on. I think we're gonna die, folks. Couldn't hit a taunt. Yeah. Um, even if we tap into a glacial shard and freeze this, still pretty dead. Unfortunately, maybe we should have just tapped first. But I felt like we were pretty, uh, like instead going for the. Um, the, the taunt on the Ravenous Terranax would have been a bit better, but... Oh well, GG's. Yeah, that was a pretty interesting deck there with the uh, just very minion-based Warlock. Uh, seems like a pretty good one. Uh, I'd love to see maybe some more cube action or something like that in here. Um, or possibly just like a, a different dimension to things. Obviously the card pool is quite, quite low, quite small. So you might not get... Uh, might not have too many options, but I'd love to experiment with this kind of stuff. Love the little, like, uh, egg packages going on and the uh, the powerful late game. But uh, big th thanks to Croesus for the deck. On to the next one. Alright, this is Yo-Yo Bobby Man's uh, Resurrect Priest for this, uh, this tavern roll. Looks pretty fun. Looks like uh, it might be a pretty reasonable uh, option for a controlling deck in this Tavern Brawl. Uh, we've got some early interaction in Spirit Lash with uh, a couple of uh, nice sticky minions like Tar Creeper and Gilded Gargoyle for a bit of extra advantage. Uh, card advantage also synergizes quite well with our, um, our Spellstone and in general just kind of ramping up and doing bigger things than our opponent. Uh, we've also got Psychic Scream in here. I think this is probably the best, uh, best board clear anyone has access to within this uh, Brawl. 
Uh, but the whole idea of the deck is we're going to try to get some large boom booms in play, some large marges, some uh, silver vanguards to recruit out charge devil zors, lich king obsidian statues, even got shadow essence to cheat them out as well. And then once they're out, once our opponent deals with them, we can uh, resurrect them back using Eternal Servitude to pick and choose. We've got Lesser Diamond Spellstone to just get a whole bunch of stuff in play at once. And Twilight's Call can potentially uh, give us more copies of Gilded Gargoyle to feed our Spellstone, or uh, even just some cheap Lich King, some 1-1 uh, one -one Lich Kings and, I'm uh, oh, sorry, Obsidian Statues and, and that kind of stuff. So, uh, quite interesting. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, once again, shout out to Yo Yo Bobby Man over on Halfbone for the deck. Let's go! Saw this encounter. Okay. This is uh, Yo-Yo Bobby Man's Resurrect Priest. I guess we'll keep our Spellstone. Uh, and we'll try and mulligan into our uh, Shadow Vision, Spirit Lash, those early game minions. I think keeping one Spellstone, um, not too much of a risk. Hopefully the uh, aggro decks out here aren't too big. None of our minions, unfortunately. Ooh, Murlocs! Murloc Shaman. We're definitely going to play some Murloc Shaman. By the old, By the old gods. gods. Actually, this is the first time I think I'm using this uh, uh, this Jura portrait. The new Madame Lazul. Did my pre-orders before. Of course, if you haven't done your pre-orders, make sure to lock those suckers in before it's too late anyone in chat who's uh, who's thought about doing the pre-orders or has done their pre-orders, what did you go for? Or what do you want to go for? Hmm. We may just want to coin out this uh, Shadow Essence just to get some uh, just get some action going on. Hopefully get a death rattle in the pool for this Twilight's Call. No! Well... Okay. It's an awesome portrait. Yeah, I love it. I think trolls are just some of my favorite, um, my favorite race, and most of my, some of my favorite characters in Warcraft lore. I kind I don't know. Is it me or have trolls kind of been a bit shafted in as far as like you don't see too many like really. Uh, you know, you see a lot more other races being interesting characters than you do trolls. Yes. Alright, we're in the money. We can start uh, Eternal Servituting back the uh, statue. Unless... Well, Hex is in Classic. Is there another Hex or Devolve style effect that could get us? Our opponent's not going to be playing too many Murlocs if there are borders full of totems. <laughs> if we can kill this, then they might have a board full of zero attack minions. Which I'm sure would not be a fun time for them. We just got Battle for Azeroth, which is entirely trolls. Tell, I mean, so was Bomb Sandy around before Battle for Azeroth? For the shadow essence. What do the Can I say no? Say? Let's just keep get these uh these huge boys out. 
Not taunt. No. We didn't want taunt, we didn't want the searing totem. Maybe we just shouldn't have attacked. But then our opponent could always attack with this. But, oh, I pooped something out, which they can't do anything with. Princess Talanji is a great character. Oh, we just got Talanji as well in Hearthstone. So, but admittedly, how many expansions has it been without a, tr a cool troll? Huh? Riddle me that one. Law Overlord. Look him in. What's going on? Ooh, opponent does not want to deal with the uh, the obsidian statues. Interesting though. I'm definitely keen to check out some uh, some quest Murloc. That, that uh, some quest charm seems pretty cool. GG's. Okay, we're here with Yo Yo Bobby Man's priest. I think we'll keep these. So a little bit of early interaction. Got our spell stone I'm on the plate here. Have Luke from uh, from Happy Boys in the chat as well. My brother and I are on different continents. I did not know that. Is it is that a recent development? And which two continents? Uh, one of our opponents on like Dead Man's Hand Warrior. Hope everyone's got their uh, got a beverage ready because could be a long one. We we're finally able to Skype into a blue stream. Can't even tell. Nice. Yeah, so getting those uh, getting those settings right when you're uh, jumping in with someone else's stream and stuff like that can be so painful. And usually it's really obvious that like you're in two different places. So if you've managed to uh, crack the code on that one, yeah. China and South Africa. Hell yeah, I like that. I would love to go back to, uh, to China's Explore Angoro. Yes! I'd love to go back to China soon. Oh my gosh! I was probably Big way off on that, uh, on that sound because I don't have my headphones in. Uh, Mugi, with the tier 1 sub, thank you so much. Love you a lot. Thank you for supporting me. And uh, let's uh, let's get some wins. Let's get some wins. Now we could attack, double coin out a uh, silver vanguard. What do the mm. cards say? It would me mean that we're doing something this t this turn, as opposed to not doing anything. But then it next turn we don't have a lot of action. I think I'm gonna do it though. Just don't like the idea of falling too far behind against uh, no walls can hold me. Uh, against someone who can really pick and choose exactly what they're doing. Yeah, I'd love to go back to uh, to China, go back to Hong Kong soon. That'd be great. Can't say I've ever been to South Africa though. Certainly. Uh, all, most of what I know about South Africa comes through cricket and through that kind of stuff, so. It's awesome that, you're, uh, that your family is moving around, though. Ah, try this. Or that everyone's moving around. It's good, to, good that people are international. It's killing this. Nani? Alright, doing us a favor. Tell you what though, Arathi Weaponsmith. It's sick man, if you're ever in south of China, hit me up. I'm teaching. Ah I've, uh, I've considered doing teaching international teaching as well. Mostly in uh, 
in uh, Japan. That was a fair while ago. And this isn't going to rumble with us, so we don't really need to attack it. We can probably just play another Silver Vanguard and say go. In before our opponent uh, summons up a, uh, a shield block. Can you can you discover cards outside of your um, outside of the legality? I guess you can because Arathi Weaponsmith is in uh, is in classic. Oh, Has he got another one? Pays really well in China, Japan, Korea. Yeah. I mean, Korea is also another place. That's actually top of my list of places I want to go back to. Punch first. Give me another Devil's Lord. Little hi, hello. What's up? Welcome to the chat. How have you been? We are playing some Tavern Brawl today. Got a pretty sick little control priest going on. We're enjoying it. But yeah, I'd love to, to go teach in Korea. I actually used to work with someone who, who did that for a couple years. They moved to Korea, taught, um, they, but they actually taught uh, older, older students. So they were teaching, you know, people in their 60s and 70s how to. Um, how to speak English. I'll tell you what, do you wanna do you wanna cast this uh, anti-magic shell? I really would like to do that. Uh what is this? 14, 22? What's lethal? So let's see if we can uh, just get a little bit out. Got him. Very good. Okay, here we are with the uh, Control Priest deck, Resurrect Priest deck from uh, Yo Yo Bobby Man. I really like this one. I think if you are a control head, you want to play some Psychic Screams. Uh, this is definitely the deck for you, and we've even got some fantastic options for uh, things to resurrect. I uh, love the little uh, the addition of Silver Vanguard here to uh, get some more value out of like Charge Devil's Ores and things like that. So, uh, yeah, really sweet deck. Um, I imagine most people will probably have a Lich King around. You might not need the Shadow Reaper Anduin in the deck, but if you've got a lot of these pieces, definitely consider giving it a go because uh, I think you'll have some fun. And uh, once again, shout out to Yo Yo Bobby Man over on Half Pwn for the deck. Okay, we have a really sweet Elemental Mage deck here. This comes from us from Super Newman over on Half Pwn. Uh, and it, it's pretty straightforward. We've got a lot of the kind of uh, Elemental All Stars, starting early with Firefly and Glacial Shard uh, into the Shimmering Tempest. And then the, uh, the later game package of Steam Server. Servant of Calamos, hopefully discover us up some uh, some big boom booms or maybe some more blaze callers. Uh, and then uh, Frost Lich Jaina to kind of uh, hold it all down. I think we'll probably be winning a lot of games with Frost Lich Jaina. Um, and if you are missing Frost Lich Jaina, probably not a deck I'd recommend uh, jumping on with. But uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, really excited to play some Lesser Ruby Spellstones. I think this card... Never really got some too much love during its time in Standard, uh, and uh, this will be a good way to send it off, so let's jump into some games. Alright, we're here with uh, Super Newman's Elemental Mage. Really tempted to keep this Frost Lich Jaina. I think if our opponent's not on any kind of, like, aggro list... Yeah, you know what, I think we'll just keep all of these. Very risky to keep a... A nine drop, of course, something I usually wouldn't do, but I think in a lot of these brawls, people end up having kind of lower powered decks. So sometimes keeping a very individually powerful card can work out. 
you know, we wouldn't want to play this game and get into a situation where it's just like, oh, as soon as we draw Jaina, then we can finally start pulling ahead. Now we just have the Jaina, turn nine, all the time. But maybe we won't even get to find out. Maybe our opponent... Oh, there we go. Okay, Archonologist in the deck. Just to pull out, uh... The two explosive runes. Would have liked to see maybe a mana bind in the deck. Something a little bit uh, spicy. Being again with all these Kelliseth decks running around. Perhaps not. Use our Archonologist to get a, a nice three drop out. Three, four, five. Opponent. Our opponent has like an ironwood golem here. It's alright. Can deal with it. Yeah, tar creeper. It's also fine. Deploy out some uh some boys. Curve into our servant of Calamos. Hopefully discover a uh maybe a blaze caller or something like that. Ooh. What do we got? Draw, draw, draw armor. Could be draw armor and then spell stone. No. Brothers, he I call. Ah, uh, bonfire elemental. Yeah, let's go. Nice large flat. What do we get? AI. Let's just keep the big bodies going. Um, do we want to play as Flame Elemental? Uh, if our opponent has... I don't think we will. Our opponent could have, um... Uh, the theme. Spreading Plague? Would rather not run, like... Uh, would rather not give them another free 1-5. Next turn we can go maybe... Explosive Runes, Fire Plume Phoenix? Turn after we get to start doing stuff with Jaina. Do not fear power. Fear those who wield it. Staggering indeed. Life still animation still maybe just a little bit too slow. Easy break. See if we can uh, see if we can get a polymorph off this primordial glyph. I could take pyroblast. I think I want to take this spell stone though. Out of my jungle. Out of my jungle. Alright. Maybe we could have traded in there. Hmm. 
I'm sure. Opponents uh, armoring up here, so glad we didn't take the uh, pyroblast. Uh, can we kill this with our hero power? We have five, six, seven, eight. So we can. Creeper out here. Yeah, we'll go for the fully upgraded spellstone. Why not? Will high hello want to one v one sometimes? I mean, I usually uh, if someone's got like the eighty gold quest, or if uh, they've got some other quests they want to do, or just have a fun game, usually uh, save some viewer games till the end of the stream if I've got some extra time. Um, and lately, it seems like we do have a little bit of extra time in the stream, so uh, you might be in luck. Maybe uh, towards the end of the stream we can uh, have a game. Hmm. Can't really engineer a good situation here. Go for another glyph. Alright, get in there. This is set up as well so that we can attack in and uh, use a hero power. Or possibly just use a hero power on the uh, elemental. Maybe that's just what we should have done last turn. Just use that interaction. We have the fully charged spellstone. Oh, yes. One, please. Actually, do something a little bit cheekier. Go and drop the primordial boy. The, the boner. The bone drink. I haven't seen a blaze caller yet. Or Steam Surger for that matter. So we may want to just kind of hold this water elemental for a bit to make sure that we uh, can trigger those those elementals. Kind of get a nice chain going on. Because it would suck to not... Uh, would suck to not have those online. Mm. Opponent in the tank. A tangled web. It is a rough situation. I mean, this is. I mean, I I know how our opponent feels. Seems like they always have like the exact right amount of damage, the exact right thing. Won't play our four minor water elemental. 
and play our three mana water elemental. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Well, <laughs> don't mind if I do. I think we'll just freeze this, uh, this Emerus. Hopefully our opponent's not, like, on a, like, combo. And just, uh, need to find that stat buff or something. Well, this came off a Bone Drake, right? This isn't even a Druid card. It's Hunter card. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, very good. Uh, I think we will just maybe play this 16-16 Elmeris. Uh, or we'll... Great. Sure, whatever. Witch King. I'll have an extra turn, thanks. Thank you. Masterful. You win. Woo! I can rest now. Got that. That's a pretty goofy game. I, that is, without a doubt, that is the only game that I've seen uh, someone cast an Emerus. The, the, the only game I've seen two Emerus get cast and a Temporus. GG. You asked for it. Alright. Another game here with the uh, Elemental Mage. Hmm. I'm tempted to keep this steam surger. No, I think we'll send it back. Primordial Glyph, just to, uh... For a bit of the flex. Nice, Archaeologist. The Dueling Fireflies. See if we can get someone with another turn eight Jaina. Oh. An incredible discovery. Tar Creeper hopefully comes down to save the day, especially if our opponent has like a Shadow Blade. Pretty good. Another card that didn't necessarily see as much uh much love as I would have hoped. Creeperoni comes down. Next turn we've got the Fire Plume Phoenix. Wow, just jamming with the uh, the blade. Maybe they've got another another blade to join it. Hmm. Gonna need this uh, Stonehill Defender to do a bit of work. Maybe find us a, uh, you know, a Sunwalker or something like that. Just some some reasonable large taunt. We are against uh, a deck that could have Vile Spine Slayers. Probably will. Even has an enabler. So I think next turn we might want to try and distribute our threats. If we do deploy any. Ooh, Plague Scientist. Heck yeah. Come on, Stone. Yeah, that's kind of what I was asking for. Kind of, I think we want to 
Jaina on turn 8 though. So maybe we're better off just taking Saranite Chain Gang. Hmm. Chain, ch ch chain, chain, gang, chain, gang. Now there's not really a very good Vile Spine target, if even if they do have one. Yeah, card we might want to be careful for is a uh, Bone Man. A deck like this might might kind of top out at Bone Man. Pretty lucky with those uh, that cinder storm there. All right, so next turn's the only, we the last turn that we have to actually play. Oh, he's got a rogue there secret. Was a man from that would mean very good. Ooh, blaze caller. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go for that. If our opponent has a vile spine, I think this might be the uh, might be the target for it. Surely they have it, right? They just played a oh, minstrel. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just just kill it. Let me just give our opponent the signal. What? No vile spine. Color me confused. Hopefully, color our opponent. Deadzo! Even got a spell stone charging up. I think we're in a good position. Just had to check. What set this was even from? It's like I'm pretty sure there's a one seven taunt in classic, but all right, opponent. So they're gonna go for it. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this is a turn. But if you trade, uh, then I get to eat one of your birds. We could go for mage spells this turn. I think we're, I think we're okay though. How long can this go on? How long can this go on? How explosive would you like your runes? Medium rare. I keep it if our opponent has like a. Alright, battle begins. Definitely not gonna do that. And do, oh my gosh! 
It's the most explosive runes I've ever had. Hopefully our opponent uh, has a bunch of creatures in their deck. Get out of here, Stonehill. Explosive runes. Of. Why didn't they just play the shadow? Yeah, okay. I'm not sure if they thought that they goofed or something, but and they could have very easily just played two stone hills there and maybe tried to stabilize. But well, GG's. Okay, here with the uh, elemental mage deck from Super Newman. Uh, really fantastic deck. Love the little uh, archaeologist package with the uh, explosive runes. Uh, this seems like a deck that can very much kind of go over the top of uh, of our opponents, uh, which I really, really like. So, if you've got a Frostage Chainer kicking around, you want to get one last use out of it before she is released into Wild, this is the deck for you. Um, also, the, uh, the Spellstone proved to be pretty excellent. So, uh, big thanks to Super Newman. Uh, on to the next one. Okay, we are here with the Year of the Mammoth uh, Tavern Brawl, and we have a deck that comes to us courtesy of El Jefe, El Jefe, I'm not too sure how to pronounce that, hopefully I haven't butchered it, butchered it. Uh, but they've got a really sweet kind of death rattle recruit hunter uh, list going on here. We've got a lot of the typical death rattly hunter things going on, like Play Dead and Terra Scale Stalker to combine with Devil's or Egg uh, and some other large death rattles in here really kind of uh chunky early game i don't think we're going to get rolled over too easily we've got keliseth in here as well to buff up some of our, uh, our mid game and late game plays uh and the late game i guess is where things get really really interesting uh we've got seeping oozling in the deck no cubes or anything like that uh so this gains the death rattle of a random minion in our deck which at worst is going to be you know uh, at worst, it will be a Devil's or Egg or a Violet Worm, but at best, we could get a Silver Vanguard or a Katharina Winter Wisp or something along those lines. Uh, so I like the Seeping Oozling here. Uh, we've got a Silver Vanguard in here and a, a kind of Silver Vanguard package, I guess, uh, of some Charged Devil's Oars, Lich King, that kind of stuff. Uh, and we've got Rexar, of course, as our late game powerhouse. Hopefully, discover us some uh, some sweet beasts, allow us to. Uh, take down the game in a uh, if it does manage to go a bit longer so uh, without further ado we'll jump into the brawl and uh, we'll see how we go all right here with El Jefe's uh, death rattle recruit hunter I think we'll keep a devil's or egg throw everything else back see if we can pick up a uh, a Keliseth see if we can get maybe a play dead no this looks all right hopefully our opponent doesn't have too aggressive a start uh, good thing is without uh, flame imp I think a lot of the uh, aggro warlock starts can be a little bit more anemic than what they usually are. Known for R2. Munch! Our Lich King is gone. But Keliseth right on time. Seeing Dumbo with the fan. Uh, what am I up to this weekend? I'll be up to some Dungeons and Dragons. Getting back into some Curse of Strahd. Very excited. We might go see a gig. Uh, see one of my favorite... Uh, my favorite uh, kind of electronic chip tuny retro wave kind of bands called Gamer. Gamer the band. Um, and then at work, it's uh, our four year, four fourth year birthday party anniversary thing. Store's been open for four years, so they're uh, having a little cute little event to celebrate that. Is this paper DD? It is. Uh, what's this Dumbo thing though? I did not. Is there a? Is it a musical? Is it a new, and like a remastering? Is it a stage show? What's, what's the, what what's new media's take on Dumbo? Are you a chaotic neutral kind of guy? Legit, yeah. Um, I mean, I won't get too deep on what my Dungeons and Dragons character is like, but. Uh, Suffice to say, he's probably a, uh, he probably thinks that he's lawful good, but is more chaotic neutral than anything. How are we killing this, uh, Spirit Singer Umbra? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 
what to do. Let me not know. Maybe we just bash down this vulgar homunculus, coin out our uh, seeping oozling, and hope for the best. I mean, if our opponent plays a, uh, a lackey, things are going to get out of hand very quickly. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh, wow. Okay. As long as it's not a Void Lord. It's the most important thing. I don't think we can allow it to stick around much longer, though. Job done. Okay. We've got some, uh... Well-statted devils or eggs in play. But yeah. Uh, I'm currently playing an Orc Paladin. Enjoying a fair bit. Rolled my stats. Rolled terribly. Just gonna let it go. Just gonna let it rip. Let it rock. Oh dear. Well, that's a bit, a bit more dangerous for us. Discover. Melvacino zero one. Aloha and good afternoon from Hawaii. Hopefully you're enjoying. I've, I've already come dressed for your. Uh, for your appearance. I'll be playing the character of Tourist today. Oh no! They're gonna go for it! What beasts do we still have left in the deck? Is the egg a beast? It's not. So this Katharina Winterwisp will either get a Charge Devils or, or a uh, a violet one. Let's hope it's Where the devil's law. Mmm. Tasty. Let's see if our opponent wants to keep uh Trying to delete our deck whilst we have this in play. Darkness. Maybe not. And we can get the other charge devils or out. There's the... I'm actually going to trade this uh, off in case our opponent has the fire. I would rather not get wrecked. This beast will not be tamed. 
Well, we don't have any more egg cost minions, so... Uh, let's just go for this Devil's Law. Egg. How dare you try and munch out there? How dare you? Get out of here. GG's though. GG. Okay, back in the thick of things with uh, El Jefe's uh, Recruit Hunter, Death Rattle Hunter. Looking for that Kaliseth, no luck. See what a, uh, a Paladin deck's doing. I don't think we've come up against a Paladin so far in this brawl. I guess they were always going to have a turn one Righteous Protector though. We'll probably look to coin out maybe a Stone Hill or a Tar Creeper, depending on what our opponent does. Probably Stone Hill at this stage. Yep, probably Stone Hill at this stage. Candle Shot's pretty good. Wish we, uh... That one off a bit early. Give me an abomination. That'll be gas. I'll take the cheesy gizzler though. Out of my Their own stone hill. Definitely gonna goof our math here. Hopefully we don't get wrecked by a light fuse stegodon. Our opponent's trading off, so I assume not. Yeah, well I I would have just assumed that if you were going to be playing a bunch of... Well, I guess it could just be generic aggro. So we need to be aware, be careful of our Sunkeeper Taron. Next turn's going to be really important. Unfortunately, they they'll get the tarim down before we can get the rexar down. That was a mistake. Hmm. Not feeling good about this one. Do we trade here? Probably. Snail is causing me a nightmare. Let's see if they've got the tarum here. If they don't, I think we're in a tremendous position. Big Tarim vibes. And now the race is on. The lack of si silences in this format is uh, definitely a reason to be playing of these, uh, these, uh, buffs. I think we're gonna go for Rexar here. Just for the armor. Who to shoot? The eternal hunt has begun. The numbers just aren't working out for us. What 
its tracks to follow. Well played. Yeah, if our opponent's got any, uh, any big charger or anything. Anything small? Is that enough? I think that's enough, yeah, 5 8. Yeah. And we could have killed the, uh, the big stone hill defender, but even then it only uh, reduces the amount of damage on the board by 3, which is the same as killing the uh, tarot. Actually, that one didn't just, just, just barely didn't work out for us. Um, we did, uh, did have a bit of a rough early game, and unfortunately getting that uh, candle shot a turn, uh, turn late, using our coin maybe a bit frivolously, maybe we should have held it to try and uh, get the Rexar down a bit earlier, but would have meant we'd have nothing on turn two, and I think our opponent had a very snowball-y kind of start. So, uh, well played, GG. So it was uh, a pretty fun game. All right, we're here with uh, El Jefe's uh, Brawl Block deck, the uh, Death Rattle Recruity Hunter. Uh, really fun, really fun. I really like this deck. Uh, obviously, I'm a big fan of Big Rogue and uh, these uh, kinds of decks. Uh, I really like it. I like that there's a little bit of early interaction as well. Uh, unfortunately, the Keliseth really does stop us from playing some uh, even more interaction on two. Um, uh, so I'd like to see maybe some of the uh, this mid-range stuff like this fungal mancer maybe cut out a bit more of that put a bit more control in there because i really think we do have a better late game than most of those decks um but uh still if you like uh death rattle decks if you've been playing a lot of death rattle hunter anyway and um, this is definitely a deck worth checking out and big shout out to el jefe over on half half Pone for the deck definitely go check them out all right on to the next one Okay, that was all the decks that I'm playing here today for the uh, Brawl Block Year of the Mammoth. Uh, honestly, a, a pretty in entertaining Tavern Brawl. Um, I don't think we've uh, seen the last of, you know, what people, uh, what fun things people can do with all the cards from Year of the Mammoth. Um, certainly a lot of the decks we played were existing archetypes or archetypes that have existed in the past uh, with a lot of those Year of the Mammoth cards. Maybe shaving a few things here and there. Uh, but honestly, uh, I think it's another fun one uh, for brewing as well. So uh, really interesting to, interested at seeing uh, how this brawl evolves over the next couple of days. I uh, hope you check out some of the decks that I mentioned. Obviously, there's a lot of easy packs to get. Uh, so definitely jump into this one, get your pack, uh, and see how you go. Uh, other than that, big thanks to everyone whose uh, decks I used today. All the links are in the description, of course, so please uh, jump down there. There's also a timestamp to check out all the different decks, so if you missed one of them, rewind, go back, check them out. Uh, but until next time, of course, stay safe, stay wavy, eat the rich, and uh, eat the mammoth. Bye.